So how does music get selected for airplay on radio stations? Through a general review process. Record companies, or sometimes the artists themselves, like independent labels, submit their music to the program director. A station-specific review process occurs, and the song is either added to the daily rotation or it's not chosen for airplay and placed in the storage library. And what is a hit record, you ask? It's a song that sells a large number of copies or otherwise becomes broadly popular and well-known through radio airplay, club play, inclusion in a film or theater soundtrack, causing it to have hit or appeared on one of the popular chart listings like the Billboard Hot 100. When a program director listens to music to choose what to play on the air, the successful ones practice active auditioning meaning they're listening in a manner similar to the way normal listeners do. For instance, listeners don't listen to music in a radio station. They listen at home or in the car. They seldom listen to music at loud volumes in a professional broadcast studio. They are listening as a secondary action with their main focus being driving, cooking, cleaning, studying, or working. Listeners don't judge a song after hearing only half of it, they will listen to all of it. And in most cases, they don't decide if they like the song or not until they hear it a number of times. The best program directors will audition music in the real world as a typical listener. As they practice active auditioning, what are they listening for? What makes a song more radio friendly than others? Here is the criteria considered by the program director when adding new music, picking a potential hit record, or determining a song's rotation within the library. The first is recording quality, quality of the music, quality of the lyrics, intonation, and the like. This is usually a given with music from a professional recording studio, but stations that play music from independent labels or local artists receive music that is not produced professionally. As my boss often says, we didn't spend a quarter of a million dollars on state-of-the-art digital transmission system to play dissonant music. Next, a PD will listen for the hook or chorus of the song. How catchy is it? Can you sing along with it? Is it memorable? Will it get stuck in my head? If the answer is very, yes, yes, and yes, that particular song has a higher hit potential than one that doesn't have as notable a hook. Artist reputation is also a factor. The program director will consider how successful previous songs have been by a particular artist. For example, Taylor Swift or Harry Styles will have an easier time getting new music added to a top 40 station's rotation than a new, unfamiliar, unproven artist. Most stations don't air long five-minute-plus album versions of songs in order to maintain variety and forward momentum. Because of this, many record companies will produce radio edits to make them more suitable for airplay. These special mixes are usually shorter and, if warranted, censored if the original contains questionable lyrics. Stations may opt to play the longer album versions at night or in the overnight hours while spinning the radio edit in the daylight. An experienced program director will get an initial gut feeling after hearing a song. This instinct will give a good idea if it fits the sound and style of the station and ultimately if a target listener would enjoy it. If they have the resources, conducting market research is a great tool to have. This can be done in the form of an auditorium music test or web survey where music is played to a sample group of listeners who then comment and vote on the music. The results can then be reflected in a station's music library. All contemporary pop format PDs always refer to the music charts to gauge national airplay and music sales as well. And finally, once a song has made it in the rotation, listener response helps to determine whether it stays there, moves up to a higher rotation category, or is dropped altogether. Listener response is any type of feedback, request, or inquiry, even if a listener calls just to ask for the title or artist, that is usually a positive sign. A note about requests. They are always welcomed, received, and often solicited, but they are generally not played because of a potential unbalanced playlist, listener bias, and limited playlist space. To address this, stations will often offer an all-request hour, but the host is still required to follow basic scheduling criteria and will only have a limited number of available slots to insert requests.